Hi, Thomas Brinsko, publisher of BIC Magazine and BICMagazine.com, bringing you our weekly vlog of the top news from last week. A lot of our uh, readers and uh, on both on the internet were very interested in Tropical Storm and then Hurricane Barry. Uh, we had some continuous reporting that most of the refining capacity on the Gulf Coast stayed open. We had sent out some reports about Shell and Exxon, PBF and Valero all staying open. The only refinery that I really saw that was shut down was P66. Their Alliance Refinery in Louisiana, it's about a 253,000 barrel a day refinery. Uh, they did shut that down in, uh, ahead of the storm, but that refinery has been shellacked a few times over the last 10 years. So uh, playing the uh, long, uh, cautious game there for uh, P66. Uh, although the refinery stayed open, uh, the Barry did shut down about a million barrels per day of production in the Gulf of Mexico. So that had a little bit of residual effect on the uh, flow of uh, crude to the refineries. In other news of refining capacity, it was reported by Reuters that Marathon Petroleum's Galveston Bay refinery is shut down now and may be shut down longer than originally expected, some say as long as eight weeks. It was originally shut down on June 29th to repair a leak, but it seems like Marathon may need to rebuild a needed transformer for their FCCU Unit 3. Uh, that refinery is the second largest refinery in the United States and the largest one in Marathon's uh, family of facilities. Uh, if they can find another transformer, they say they may be up and running in two weeks, but those are pretty hard to run by and so it's expected they'll be down for eight weeks. Uh, the biggest blockbuster news of the week was that Chevron Phillips Chemical and Cutter Petroleum announced an $8 billion Gulf Coast petrochemical project. This is the second major announcement for them. Uh, they've agreed jointly to produce uh, a new uh, ethylene cracker and two high density polyethylene units somewhere in the Gulf Coast. If they have a location, it hasn't been named yet. If you hear something, let me know, please. I'd love to get the news out there. Peak construction is expected to be about 9,000 jobs. When the units are operational, we're talking about 600 permanent positions. Chevron Phillips Chemical has a 51% share in this, Cutter 49. Big uh, shindig at the White House. President Trump was there, one of the sheiks from Cutter, presidents from uh, Chevron Phillips Chemical and Chevron Corporation all there to uh, celebrate and uh, announce this big project. Stay tuned at BicMagazine.com for other breaking news. And uh, if you're not following us already on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn, please do so. God bless.